Hey guys, my name is Rob. I work for Mule Expedition Outfitters and this is our shop truck. This is a Ram 3500 flatbed conversion. It's an eight foot bed that we've converted to an Australian flatbed. Put a camper on it and put some 40s on it. So we're gonna show you the exterior. Let's get into it. So first thing we'll go over is the flatbed on this truck. This is a Mitz Alloy flatbed from Australia. We're actually the importers that bring them into the States. And there's two parts to this flatbed. So there's the flatbed itself, which is from here down, under tray boxes, you got a rear drawer, um, all that fun stuff. And then there's the side boxes, which allow you to run a slide-in camper. Not everybody wants to run a flatbed camper, so this gives you a lot more exterior gear storage. Put recovery gear, snowboarding gear, fishing gear, whatever the heck you want. So standard features with these flatbeds are an eight gallon water tank, obviously powder coating, under tray boxes, there's a five foot rear drawer, and then accessories that you can add onto these flatbeds are things like side boxes, full canopies with rooftop tents, or if you wanna go camper style, you can do that as well. They're completely modular and the canopies are removable. So some people use it as a work truck and a flatbed and then they plop the canopy on and they go camping with it, which is really nice. In this box, we actually have an air compressor mounted with chucks that are plumbed all the way to the exterior and there's a switch on the inside of the cab. You just turn it on and you've got air to uh, each side of the truck. The nice thing about air is it allows you to air down, which is more comfortable. It's easier on uh, your suspension and you gain a lot of traction. In snow, sand, mud, or even just gravel roads, airing out a little bit or a lot can make a big difference. So we also have a cab rack, kind of fills the space between uh, the camper and the cab and allows us to put storage boxes up there uh, for recovery gear. There's even enough room for us to put a shift pod if we've got multiple people coming on the trip with us. So it's a really great feature for extra storage and usability. We also have 40 inch tires on this truck and in order for us to do that, we have to use an AEV kit that actually pushes the front axle forward and allows us to fit these larger tires. So we have a mixture of AEV components and Carly, which is the shock uh, and those shocks are custom tuned by the company Carly. Um, so we've got really comfortable shocks, great geometry for the larger tires, and that's how we fit all that stuff. So in the rear of the truck, we've done an upgraded leaf pack to accommodate all the weight that's constantly in the bed of the truck. And we've added airbags so that way we have adjustability as the load changes. Sometimes the camper comes out of this truck and it's used more as a work truck. Other times it's used as camp mode. So it allows us that uh, adjustability in the ride height and, and stiffness. For the front of the truck, we actually did an AEV bumper fender flares and snorkel. The fender flares are a high mark flare that we have to cut the fender to allow for those 40s. Snorkel gives us fresh clean air when in dusty environments and things like that. And the front bumper is got a lot of research and development into it, but uh, really nice in case of an impact, higher clearance for off-road use. So we've also incorporated lighting in the front of this truck, both on the ditch lights and in the front. It really is a safety thing for visibility at night. Even when we were rolling in last night, being able to see that far out for deer if they're in the road or on the sides of the road, it's a huge deal. So mounted on this flatbed, we actually have a slide-in camper from Four Wheel Campers, and it's a Gramby model, which is their eight-foot model. And then mounted to that, we have our own custom brackets that allow us to mount an Alucab 270 awning. And it's a full wraparound awning, so you have coverage on the side and the back. If any of this stuff interests you, there will be links in the description of this video, or you can reach out to Mule Expedition Outfitters, and we'd be happy to help you. So that's a wrap for the exterior of this build. Now for the inside of the camper. So this is the Gramby front dinette configuration. There's a few different configurations available, uh, but this one's the front dinette where the seating's up front, cabinetry is back here. This has a, a flush mount sink and stove option. When these are all closed up, you get all your counter space back, which is a really nice feature. You've got a furnace that has controls here, adjustability, and all the air from the furnace comes out of here. You've got some direction that you can change that with. You've got solar panels with a solar readout here, so you can kind of maintain that and see what kind of solar you're getting in. You've got silverware drawer and other cabinetry available battery storage is here. There's also a water heater in this model. So the front dinette configuration, one of the benefits of that gives you a lot of cabinetry storage. This has storage with a pop top here, cabinetry in the front here, and then this configuration has a 130 liter isotherm fridge. They are available in smaller sizes, which gives you more storage up top. These are also available with toilet configurations that are hard mounted in uh, the campers. If you order it with the toilet, it does delete all of this cabinetry. Um, so you're trading storage for a toilet. A lot of my customers will just do a portable cassette toilet in the lower cabinet and they maintain all this upper storage, which is really nice. So with the front end of this configuration, this one was specifically ordered with an interior shower. So there's a shower curtain that wraps around and drains to this pan. If you don't order it with a shower, this would have storage. Um, you do have additional storage here 
and there's additional storage under both of these seats. If you want as well, you can use the table to bridge this gap and turn this into a bed. And on a Granby eight foot bed, you can actually sleep two adults here with the top closed or four people total, two people down here, two people up top. So this camper is also outfitted with two max air fans that are able to push air in, pull air out. You also have four ceiling lights that are just a tap on, tap off, and you have adjustability in how bright the light is, which is a really nice feature. This camper was also optioned with a thermal pack. This is the old style thermal pack. So four wheel now has a upgraded three layer thermal pack that's way more insulating and it actually quiets the camper down quite a bit as well. Um, even this older style works incredibly well to insulate the camper. Campers for full-size trucks actually come standard with a queen-size bed configuration. And you just essentially pull the slide out and add cushions. You can also upgrade to a king size, which pulls out again, and you're able to put four cushions in. The benefit of the king and why it's so popular, it allows you to sleep north to south, not just east to west, because the stock configuration is just east to west. Climbing over your partner in the middle of the night when you gotta go to the bathroom kind of sucks sometimes. So that's why that king size bed is such an upgrade. Again, guys, my name is Rob, and that just about wraps up our company rigs tour. I work for Mule Expedition Outfitters, and this is the Mule shop build that we've built. If this kind of stuff interests you, there will be links in the description of this video, or if a four-wheel camper, a mitts, or really any truck modifications interest you, you can reach out to us. Uh, my email address directly is rob at dasmule.com. That's R-O-B at dasmule.com and uh, I'm the four wheel camper and mid sales guy but we're, we build things from mild to wild so we can do anything that you want there's a million different options out there for campers flatbed suspension and so reach out to us and we can help kind of find what works best for you all right thanks for watching guys we'll talk to you later <music>